Hey, so um, this is Jason Scott, your broker in charge, coming to you um, live and in person right before Thanksgiving. So a few things going on we definitely need to make you aware of that are some changes. This is about the MLS. And if you have not watched your, um, this is about the MLS merger with Alamance and Triangle. So if you have not watched the videos that have been sent out, or if you have not um, actually read the emails that have been sent out, it's going to be fairly easy. However, you just need to be aware of it. So I'm going to share a couple of screens with you in just a moment so that you understand. Um, if you are a Triangle user, how you currently enter listings or edit listings is changing. If you are an Alamance user, the very same thing is happening. Um, so that's one thing. Listings will change. So, and I'll go over that with you. The second thing that's changing is Triangle now has partnerships with Matrix. They also have partnerships still with Paragon. They also have a partnership with Flux. So as a user, um, come the 29th, when you log in, you will have an option of which of, of those platforms you would like to use. Now, if you have not used Flex, there's a demo and I'll show you that in just a moment, how you can get to it. If you're a Matrix user and love Matrix, you can choose to use Matrix. If you're a Paragon user and like Paragon, you continue to use Paragon. You will have a choice which one you want to use. That being said, once you choose, that's your choice. We can't interchangeably go back and forth and, oh, I like Matrix, oh, I like Paragon, um, because the what they pay as a price is per user. So you can't have users flexing, flexing in between because it would change the pricing. So um, I will share screen with you so you um, will see what we're speaking to. And then if you have any questions, by all means, reach out to me directly. Check your email. Um, you can rewatch this. You can rewatch um, the video that came out from prior um, sessions with the um, actual triangle. So here goes. We are going to share screen. Um, we want to do this. Now I'm sharing. So hopefully we're sharing, right? Are we good with sharing? Yep, it looks good now. All right, great. So here goes, you're at your home screen. This is what you would normally go to. This is what you see when you log in. Everything's fine. Um, if you go into Triangle, your MLS portal, this is where I go. Um, and yes, there will be tiles at this first, first session. So when you sign in to Triangle, and you can see these are the five um, ownerships of Triangle MLS if you will, um, Baycar is added to that. So your username and you're gonna sign in. And then when you sign in, you'll get some tiles um, here. If you go to the multiple listing service, when you go there, again, when, this is the portal's home screen, you're gonna see tiles again, of course. <clears throat> so this is what's gonna be different. Here, you notice this week, Paragon is slid over. Um, so listing manager training. So this is the actual training that you're going to go into um, so that you can understand what's going to happen starting the 29th. So there's some key dates and timelines that you need to um, be aware of. Come um, the 26th, which is Sunday, um, you all entering for listings or any, if you got a partial save listing, all of the, any listing will be frozen from the 26th until the 29th. No one will be able to access, enter or update any listings. What you can do is still search, still use the MLS. You just won't be able to add edit or change anything. So in future, when you come in, you will have a listing button just like one of these. So when you go to enter a listing, you're gonna click your button that says listing. It doesn't matter where your listing is going to, it will be routed. Once you fill out all of the information in the listing button, the system actually sends it to the Flex system. The system sends it to Black Knight Paragon. The system send it, sends it to uh, Matrix. 
So there is one central hub for all listings now, and it will be one of these buttons. So you will click on listing, and that's where any member of any of those five original ownerships that we showed you earlier, when you enter in a listing or you go under contract on the listing, or if you drop a price on the listing, you will click the listing button on the main screen. That is your listing manager. And this is the training for that button. Okay. So you would click here. <clears throat> um, and it will show you, this is the training. The course is an event that you can take. Um, these are training sessions, 10 to 11. Rental Beast is out there. If you don't understand Rental Beast, you want to understand. This is um, ad edit listings and how to do it. So any of these are available um, on record for you to have seen. So you can click on them and then go into those. Um, that being said, if we go back here, you will get a choice on the 29th when they're taking the system down on the 26th. When it comes back live on the 29th, you will have an option of which platform you would like to use. Also, there will be a tile on this same screen on the 29th for you to practice and play with Flex. The majority of you all have never seen Flex, don't use Flex, don't know anything about Flex. You can demo it on one of these tiles. So please know that, that you are, are able to do that. I'm gonna click on Paragon. Um, right now, there's a couple of messages that are popping up there that you need to know about, um, and you should have seen these um, this week if you've logged in. Um, important, MLS choice information. You need to register for one of these classes. Here's your frequently asked questions. Um, and if you're rental based, you're, here's your frequently asked questions for that. So this is where you can take your courses. Um, listing will be the 27th if you want to register for one. There'll be another one on Wednesday the 29th. These are also already recorded. I shared them with you already on Facebook last week with a link. So that's what this is if you want a live person in, in class want to ask questions. Also, I already shared with you, like I said, last week on Facebook, um, the um prior sessions that have already recorded likewise when if you're an alamance user and you're logged into alamance um log in come on there's a, a message they're closed for thanksgiving hey i've read this important same message you can register for one of these classes or you can also look at one of the prior um, recorded sessions like the one I placed for you on Facebook. <clears throat> the thing is that you need to understand the listing button, what happens with that. Once you enter that listing, your pictures, your price, the, all the things that you do to enter a listing, it shares it to all three platforms equally. So you're not losing any information in the interim on any of your platforms. They're all going to be identical when they the information is spread out. So that's what you need to know is that information to all three platforms will be identical by using this listing button on the main login screen. Um, so that's the biggie you need to know. Again, it's going dark on the 26th, back up and running on the 29th. So if you've got listings that you've saved partial, please know they're gonna be gone. Um, they won't be able, you won't be able to edit them afterwards. So between now and the 26th, if you've got partial listings, you need to get in there and fix them and update them wherever they are or get that information saved somewhere so you can enter it on the 29th when it goes back live. Um, likewise, if you got something that goes under contract between that window of 26th to 29th, um, just save that information. You're going to update it on the 29th. And um, again, I've had lots of questions about Flex. You, they're on that main portal login screen. There will be a, a button that says, try Flex, play with Flex, interact with Flex, so you can use it. Um, I currently have Flex through another operating system, another association. Uh, I do think Flex um, has a different look and feel. 
Um, it's it if you think about the folks of us have been around for a while, the difference of matrix when it came along versus the old one that we used to use prior. Um, flex is an is like that. Um, it's got mapping and you see geographical information. It's almost like it, it searches and looks almost like the consumer searches and looks on a map on a Zillow or realtor.com or wherever they're using their to get their information. So I do think flex um, is a different experience. And if you're even interested remotely in it, do that demo to play with it. Um, and if you, you're welcome to come see one, that's the demo. If you want to see my flex, um, I'll be glad to log in and show you and let you play around with mine so you can get a feel for how flex operates um, before you make a decision. Again, just know that that you need to decide on the 29th which platform you're going to use. So if you got any questions, you can always reach out to me. That's what I'm here for. I will repost that webinar. Um, again, there's two coming up next week. You're welcome to join those live. I'll repost the webinar and make sure you get the frequently asked questions. Um, and that is it. Um, feel free to reach out to me. Um, JasonScottKW.com. JasonScottKW.com or 336-327-0002. Zero, 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 All right, great. Have a good, uh, awesome Thanksgiving. We appreciate each one of you.